Hello, welcome back, guys. This is Suryam again. So now we'll be discussing about uh, MS Office Excel. Okay. So see, Excel is completely depends upon tables. See, you mostly work on tables. So instead of tables, you can simply use MS Word, right? But to show some in, something in order, to show something in respected way, so we'll be using MS Office Excel. Okay. MS of Microsoft Excel. Okay. So, what is MS Office Excel mainly used for? It is used for calculations, some all table related stuff, like it may be any kind of calculation. So, what calculation will be coming across mostly like uh, um, additions, multiplications, uh, finding some percentage of something stuff like that. Okay. No, no need to worry. I'll be showing some simple calculations how to do with MS Office, and no need to worry. So I'll be covering most of the things in this Excel. So we'll be starting from right now. Okay. See, okay. let me start from creating a table. See, now guys, you need to understand before starting the table. See, now just observe my cursor right here. So you can see this cursor will be showing in different forms. When I put now, you can see now this cursor is like bold plus right something like. Plus, it's been a little bit bold and like that. You can see that kind of symbol. So, what is this bold kind of place is used for? It means when you click on some uh, box and you can simply drag multiple blocks with this bold place symbol, okay? But when you put the same cursor to the corner, you can see something place. So, you know what is this used for? It is used for dragging formulas actually. When you have some formula here, you can simply drag the formula like this. In row wise or you can simply drag the formula in column wise okay this is used for dragging okay dragging formulas see so it will be coming up across all this okay i'll be explaining them when you keep when you keep this name when you drag this using control you can see when i press control here you can see a small place has been added there it is also used for dragging formulas so we'll be coming across all this cursor um, expression see now this is one kind of uh, impression this is one kind of impression when i press control you can see another kind of impression okay okay now let's start the tutorial so i would like to select some 10 rows and uh, some five columns okay see like see okay here is that and i can shift them see simply i selected what i want what if i want to highlight this all columns okay simply go to home and just go for this see you can see all borders just click on the right small right uh, dialog box again you can see multiple of them here see i want to, i would like to go for all all borders so what now i would like to add some i would like to add multiply some stuff there see something like 254 something i'll come across all this okay okay just uh, so <laughs> there is no need for all same numbers will be doing something different like um, okay this would be better now we will go something like oh, one now i will be also doing the same thing so no don't worry how i did all this i will explain you okay, guys so what if i want to add this both things here okay it can be done by two ways see you can see the bold place it is used for selection i said that so select this and this until here c because this two addition should be done here okay if you want this 256 space one should be added where you want to add you have to do until there see like this if you want at this place so you have to you have to or drag the column until this you want if you want answer here so i want to answer here itself so i'll simply drag till here okay now how to get the rough answer here simply play here auto sum this will only add okay see now you can see 256 plus 250 256 plus 1 is 257 it may be anything now if i change any number here the automatic the answer will also be changing see see when i change it here the answer is automatically changed so this is will for your conclusion i'll be writing your addition so multiplication multiplication subtraction and something division okay okay 
no no we got a small clarity that how addition is been done now how, what if i want to see addition is done by being outer sum actually this is not the correct way for the for you to learn okay so i will show how to add actually see this is small formula if you know this formula you can do any kind of sums okay so simply see here right simply type is equals to okay open bracket so you want to add this and this simply press here and you know you might be knowing the semicolon symbol right colon sorry colon symbol please press the colon and sorry sorry you can do like this also but i'll be showing another way simply see plus this okay now you can see answer right this is the easy way for you if i say something semicolon for you beginner guys you might be a little confused okay so this is the, this is also one way and another way is also there this only for addition this is equals to open curly braces this colon this and close enter the same answer will be coming here actually this one because i have already entered here so it will be showing wrong okay so no need to worry so if you want this both to be added please plus is equals to open bracket plus here and you want to place this right place with this just close the curve open sorry close the bracket and plus enter so you can see the answer now see this box is having the formula a plus so what if you want to apply all this the same formula so simply drag it how click on see you can see there is no small plus to the right side okay simply drag the left mouse button until down you can see the formula is updated to all this 257 plus 259 if you change here something stuff like this you can see answer is changed like 23 answer is changed you see this is for addition so how to do for multiplication this is simple see same formula is equals to open bracket you want to add you want to multiply this 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 with this the, you will get the same answer this into okay this into this close the curly braces you can see answer see you got the, both multiplication so you design the formula simply drag the formula here you get the answer right now how to if you want to sub subtract this from this or this from this the same formula is equals to open bracket if you want to minus this from this it's okay okay this minus this close it enter you can get answer okay so I'm simply drag the formula see this is the answer right now if you want to divide this by this simply open curly is equals to open bracket this divided by this okay so this is the same formula for everything okay i hope you know you are good with this all multiplication so what i have done okay so now we'll so you know how to drag the sum everything right now for example just imagine that you have one to ten numbers for numbers it is simply easy see you can type one here and come to the corner hold the control key and drag okay you will get one two three four five like that okay see if i release the control key you can see there is no place symbol now i release the control key so you can see you can't find any you can not you can't find any uh place or another another one place right now if i hold the control key you can see another place right by holding this drag below or right side to get one two three four the series of the number okay now see i would like to drag down side Sorry. hope you got it right now see this is okay now what if you want sunday monday tuesday wednesday later? just press one word sunday s u n d a y sunday right so simply drag it like this 
see so you need to just concentrate here I again I'll go for you guys again see for the one number I have used control and drag within the but for this I didn't use any control key I simply drag like this okay no need to worry there about that so you can see the week have been let's see in like January February they N U A R okay this is the January spelling okay so simply press corner go to the right after October I, I hope you got it right so no you may come across something like this also so these are how to get see if I drag to the down you will see like this is drag to the right side it will go like this okay this is not a great example but I'll be coming out of a little bit more examples also nothing to worry okay now we'll be talking how to merge two cells how to do something like that. see if you go across something like if you ha if you want only see gender and or male or female see gender contains male and female so we need to add these two cells to get this both like for example let's see i would like to have Mm, highlight this one see here I have done this see if I write here gender sorry this is second one D E N D E R gender okay so this is male and this is female so this is this looks a little, little bit creepy right so I want this gender to appear in the between like this in here so what to do simply hold all uh, hold your cursor on the gender and drag it to the B and write margin center right so you can see when I hold that you can see there margin so simply merge it so you got something like this right gender male female uh, uh, like uh, answer like this A N S W E R answer okay. So drag it like this margin center so you can write here true false false true hope you are understanding right so this is used to merge center so there are many you can there are many ways you can there are simple ways you don't need to find uh, the hard ways to learn this see for every see for every explanation you can see here see how to create tables see, see now for example just imagine that so it's a little small okay 200 or some okay now I have put something like this now I have gone to home page see I have gone for boxes here see. so what if you want uh, the something I have something I want to give back background color for this main heading simply you can see here if you just hold here fill color see when if you want only to fill particular color simply click on one box and simply fill it like this now what if you want to fill colors for your only uh, character simply click here see your text appears to be red see? see really easy but everything here you see just go across that what is actually see if you want to make it bold here you can you want to make it italic here if you want to make it underline it is underlined here so if you want to make only outside border simply click here make it simply outside border see it, so because it's already made so if you go for no border see there will be no border if you want to only outer border you can go for only outer border for example like um, see outer border you're only having some outer borders like this so like that will be hey, some people will be uh, crazy that how the text will be appearing like this in the crosshairs see here you can see here you can if you click like this here so this text will be appearing like this to make like this okay so just find the ways how to learn express express very easy to learn so the main thing in the excel is how to add multiply so i have shown you how to do that so mm, these are the main things i hope so what i have taught you so for more so this is 
what the class I have just explained is only for the beginners to learn, not for the experts. Means expert might be feeling something like really what the man is teaching me. It's not necessary what is actually teaching. But for the new upcoming guys, what I thought is really must precious for them. Okay. So if you come across this, so comment on the below video so I'll go with the some more advanced video. video okay. So no need to worry. So keep practicing. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching the video.